vodka. Old Bay. Shall we uh, distill some Old Bay vodka? How's it going, Chasers? I hope you're having a kick-ass week. I'm Jesse. This is Still It. Back with another episode of Mean Spirits, where we throw weird stuff into the little still to, uh, well, to see what happens. Today, we're making Old Bay vodka, which, to be fair, is already a thing. Old Bay themselves make it. They've got a bunch of cool cocktails listed, which honestly sound pretty tempting. But, enough rambling, let's uh, see if we can make some vodka, because the cocktails that Old Bay have listed on their Old Bay Vodka website look absolutely amazing. Let's get stuck in. Obviously, I've never tried Old Bay Vodka, so we're kind of shooting from the hip here on what I imagine it would taste like. If you guys have tasted the real stuff, comment down below when you see how this turns out and let us know if you think we've nailed it or not. Uh, but... What I'm going in with here is a liter of vodka at 50% ABV. This is the silky vodka, well don't dribble, uh, that I made a little while ago. If you want to make your own vodka to do this with, or to make gin or whatever you want to make with vodka, uh, I'll put a link in the description down below to the same stuff I'm using. Obviously, if you want to play around with this, you could just get some store-bought vodka as well. Anyway. Now we come to the interesting part. How much of this stuff do we put in there to get a reasonable amount of flavor? The ingredients say it is uh, salt, celery seeds, spices, which include red pepper and black pepper, and paprika. I have a pretty good hunch that all of those are gonna carry over relatively well in terms of flavor. I would rather err on the side of this being too flavorful so I can just proof it down with plain vodka, rather than missing the mark and it not being tasty enough. That still doesn't answer how much I'm gonna put in. <laughs> My plan is to just kind of tip. <laughs> I'm thinking, whatever, that's 22. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm hoping for too much flavor and then we can proof it down afterwards. We're gonna dissolve this with some warm water. We got 50% in here. It's one liter, uh, so we need about 250 mils to get that down to 40% ABB. I'm messing with you. I don't, didn't do that in my head. <laughs> I 100% use the calculators. And into the still. And because I can't help myself. I got it tastes exactly how I would have imagined it to, and I'm not gonna lie, it's actually kind of delicious. So, uh, let's get this thing put together. Eh. Plugged in, turned on, and we shall wait for first drips. We're up and running, we've got first drips. Do we have weirdness at the top? No, surprisingly, that is very clean. Not a lot of Old Bay flavor, but to be fair, all of the spices that are actually in here, uh, I think are probably more likely to show up near the end. Uh, so we'll run this out, and if the lambs are pissed, they're hungry. <laughs> so we'll run this out, and if for whatever reason we don't get enough flavor, I can always just whack it back into the still with some more flavoring and go again. Well, that's warming up. I need to say a giant freaking thank you to Into the AM, who we have collaborated with yet again to make this amazing freaking shirt. Uh, and uh, check it out, Bigfoot's up to no good, guys. <laughs> a bunch of you have bought this shirt already. Thank you so much for supporting us and for Into the AM. Uh, if you like the idea of this shirt, if you think it's cool, like I do, I think it's absolutely freaking dope. Uh, there's a link in the description down below. Use that link and you'll get 10% off over at Into the AM. In fact, it'll give you 10% off anything on the platform if you wanna pick up some of their other awesome stuff at the same time. And if you are a Chase the Craft Patreon, uh, check out the platform over there. We're gonna be putting up a competition in the next few days to give out some Into the AM vouchers uh, so you guys can get a shirt or your fifth Into the AM shirt, which is probably more likely. <laughs> anyway, let's wait for first drips, shall we? We're getting near the end of the run and we have in fact found a whole lot more flavor down the bottom. It's tasting 
pretty much exactly like Old Bay, but broken up into kind of different flavors at different times. First, it was mostly kind of celery salt, and then it was the sweet paprika, uh, and then it went into more of the, the grungy, almost powdery sort of feeling flavors from the paprika, more peppery. Uh, and now it's getting into a real earthy, almost grassy-like celery salt. We're down at 52%. Uh, yes, I can keep that. Uh, I'm gonna run this for a little bit longer just to see what happens. We'll keep this too. Switch over to this glass so I can get in there a bit easier. But I think, I think we're coming to about the end of it now. Hmm. Wow, there's a lot of that crazy fresh celery flavor in there. That's so weird. Like you don't notice these flavors so much when you just have something, you know, all together. Distilling's weird. It breaks the flavors apart throughout the run and lets you kind of assess them individually and then reconstruct them back into the final product. Yeah, crazy. Oh yeah, that's just watery now. There's nothing. Yeah, not good. All right, we're gonna call it quits. There we go. I'm guessing we finished right around 50% ABV. That's generally where these sorts of things tend to finish out-ish. Uh, let's get this proof down to, what should we do? Let's do 45% ABV. We can taste it and I think we're on for cocktails. Let's, uh, let's give it a nudge. Do you know what I've realized? Meme Spirits has basically turned into, I distill whatever you tell me to distill. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> go figure. Anyway, here you go. Uh, hey. Old Bay Vodka. This stuff. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. It smells very much, guys, for that. Mm-hmm. It smells just like it. But more salty. It's pretty damn close. It's so good. It literally tastes like liquid Old Bay. Yeah, people who haven't had Old Bay, obviously, wouldn't know what to do with it, but... No. Anyone that's tasted Old Bay... I don't know how you could not <laughs> pick Old yeah. Bay. I think when it was when we did the Cracker Jack meme spirits, we said that that took the cake for tasting the most like the original <laughs> product. I think, I think this has outdone that. <laughs> like even more so, right? Like this tastes yeah. more like Old Bay than the Cracker Jack spirit tasted like Cracker Jacks. You said that for Listerine too. I know, it keeps, well, yeah, but we're discounting the Listerine because that was just a mistake. We ne never should have done that. It's burned in my brain. Yeah, I know, it's terrible. <laughs> the Old Bay Vodka is a complete hit and warrants some tasty cocktails. So let's start out with a pineapple Old Bay Sour. One and a half cups of fresh cut and frozen pineapple. One and a half ounces of Old Bay vodka. One and a half ounces of fresh made sour mix plus an extra half ounce of lemon juice. It all goes into a blender for a good blitzing into your choice of cup and topped or garnished with some chunky pineapple, which of course needs to be sprinkled with slap your mama. Because even though this looks like a Old Bay sponsored video, it's not. <laughs> Next up, a good old fashioned Bloody Mary. So, your choice of hot sauce and wish to share sauce. One and a half ounces of Old Bay vodka, homemade of course. Ice, tomato juice, give it a real good stir and top it up with more tomato juice. Now, celery's fine and all, but meat stick is where it's really at. Oh, and uh, dill pickles, olives, gruyere. Which would you like to this taste first? first. Obviously. Yeah? Why right. would you drink that one first? Are we sharing these? Yeah. Oh, I thought I had my own. <laughs> no, I want to try some as well. Can I dunk this in? Do we want? Yeah. It feels weird sharing a cocktail with somebody. With your husband? Yes, because you, I deconstruct them in my own way. She butchers them, is what she's saying. I'm going to do this because it's going to take too long. Oh, yummy. A meat stick. The meat stick is the icing on the cake. Celery is boring. Oh, sure, go. <laughs> okay, can we not? Let, let's rescue this. See, bro, say, I want it to be in there. It's like perfect. It's delicious. It's a pretty good Bloody Mary. It's really good. Meat it's stick all better. the way. Definitely like, better than other Bloody Marys. Why would you put celery in there when you can put a meat stick in I it? I would put celery and the meat stick. I like the celery. Mm -hmm. 
Fair. The vegetable is nice. The celery is delicious in here. Mm. I think we could do better on the meat stick front though. Mm. So I think that is an, a good it's, it's Bloody Mary. a really good Bloody Mary. Um, I don't know if I would necessarily see it being Old Bay. Did you put tab uh, Tabasco in it? No. Yeah, I don't taste it. I showed Tabasco and I kicked it out and put Cholula in it. Um, I'm going to taste this because this looks freaking awesome. I like Tabasco. Put some Tabasco in there. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. <laughs> the pineapple? Mm hmm. You try that, I'll find the Tabasco. The tabasco. Oh, that's so good. Why would you do that? It's the garnish is supposed to go in there so it no. absorbs all the stuff. That's why their things come on top. You put it in the drink and you eat it at the end. To me, Bloody Marys have to have Tabasco flavor, even though I don't choose Tabasco. That's my favorite hot sauce. I don't really want to go back to the Bloody Mary after that. I'm going to go back and forth several times. A <laughs> little bit of a hot take on this. The both... Absolutely delicious. They're excellent cocktails. Mm. I think if you want to show off the Old Bay vodka. Definitely do this. Well, no, I was going to say this is, I think that's, like, I like this. But my point is, you could make a Bloody Mary taste almost the same without this. <laughs> the low frog bottle. Yes, but it's covered in tape. <laughs> Everything's in a low frog bottle. Sorry. I'm just saying, you could put garlic powder and celery salt and paprika in here, and it would taste pretty similar. Yeah, true. And it just tastes like any other Bloody Mary. Yeah. This yeah, tastes like yeah, this tastes like pineapple with Old Bay. Yeah, that's true. Like if you're trying to show off the Old Bay vodka, I think this is a better cocktail. So to wrap it up, Old Bay vodka, complete another hit. Yeah. This is so awesome. Good. This is going into the pantry yeah. inside so we can actually drink it's it. So good. Uh, both of these cocktails are now on the menu because they're both freaking delicious. Yeah. I think this is probably a little bit stronger on the Old Bay flavor than uh, the real Old Bay vodka. It's a little intense, but we can mm. cut it down or use less. How do you know that though? I'm just guessing. <laughs> it's a hunch. Is this when you ask for someone to please send us the original? <laughs> so I'm gonna call this a, a win? Yeah. And a wrap, what do you reckon? Yeah, agreed, so good. Yeah, which cocktail do you wanna walk away with and which one uh, do I get? Uh, both. <laughs> Oh, I would take this one still, I think. All right, that's fine. I get the meat stick. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Oh, and a huge thank you to our Patreons for being the awesome people that uh, support us day in and day out. Yeah. And, and, uh, once again, reminder, links for these dope shirts in the description down below. See you later, guys. Uh, we're off to drink cocktails. <laughs>